outside first and then if it's okay with you when we're done i can get inside and show you what's going yeah, on in sure. the center information display yeah okay all right so i don't know if you know already but you can use hand gesturing to unlock your door oh yes so i just did it when i put my hand in there and oh. if you touch those two lines you'll lock the door oh okay uh -huh. and then put your hand in Unlock your door. Oh, why is can unlock my door? Because they recognize me, or because I have a key in my pocket? Because you have the key in your pocket, and it's nearby. So oh, only no matter you have the key or I have the key, only the some people has a key nearby, then you can open the door. Yes, and you can shut down the door. Yep, she can lock it too. But oh, I can only do it because you're here, and I know that you have the key fob nearby. Oh, okay, cool. Yes. So this is two line is for locking, lock the, locking. Uh -huh. and then that is uh, just a touch it, yes. then they can open. Okay, cool. Exactly. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. If you do that gesture from this side, only the driver door will unlock. Oh, okay. I can change it if you want, or just show you in the settings how to set for all of the doors to unlock when you do it. Oh, okay. So seems like uh, the, the rear car also can unlock it? No. Um, it can if we change the setting. Yes. So, but right, they don't have these two lines here. No. So when you do this, uh -huh. you lock all the doors. Oh, got you. Got when you. you unlock, uh -huh. only this door will unlock. None of the other doors will be open. Oh, then I can open for the any yes, doors. Okay. Exactly. Cool. And you can do that over here too. So come. Here. If we do that from this side, uh huh. Let's just make sure it's locked. Okay. Okay. If you do that from this side, all of the doors will open. Oh, so now back doors are open and this one too. Oh, got you. Yes. Oh, okay. Yep, but it will always just lock all four doors. Oh, okay. Yes. Lock is for all doors, mm -hmm. but open for this uh, passenger, uh, passenger side, they can unlock for all. Yes. But for that one, only driver. Yes. Got you, got you. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Yep. And then also while we're here, I can show you your hands-free gesturing for your trunk. Okay. So. Anytime your hands are are full of things uh -huh. and you probably can't reach to unlock this, uh -huh. you can just hold your arm next to this here Subaru sign and if the button is on, uh -huh. it will automatically open. So I'm going to check to make sure that it's oh, okay. on cool. and then show you. Yep, it's off. So this button here uh -huh. is going to open your rear gate uh -huh. without or with a gesture okay. so you hold your hand in front of the subaru sign uh -huh. and it will open if it is on right now it's off so i push it on you can tell it's on because there's a white strip at the top of the button oh okay the white strip. yes exactly okay got you so then now, that is on yeah so now i can show you how it works sometimes i don't know if it's on. <laughs> magic time oh, okay cool yeah and then you have your cargo nut here. So if this is, let's just say you have valuables in your trunk, uh -huh. you use your hands free gesturing to open your car uh -huh. and you still don't have space because this is down. Uh -huh. You can just hit it with your arm. It'll move out of the oh. way and put your things inside. Oh, okay, got you. Yes. Um, you can drop your rear seats from back here too. Okay. Using these levers here. So if I pull this, uh -huh. that seat will fall. Okay. Flat. Oh, okay. And, and same there. Yes. Okay, cool. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And then let's see here. You have a 12 volt outlet here in case you ever need to charge anything in the back. If you ever want to power something, if you need to, I don't know, oh, okay. use a motor to inflate a mattress. So this is use the battery of the car, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yep. Um, so for this uh, package, what's the uh, different specials than the regular standard? I believe what you get differently is the um, These are protector weather mats. Uh -huh. Yeah, and they're also on the backs of your seat. Okay. That doesn't come standard. Okay. Um, let's see. The night. Oh, what kind of this night can you use for? You can use it for storing things. So if you oh, have okay. like different liquids or something like that that you want to put back here, you can do that. Okay. Uh, That's in case you want to install a cargo net. You have one on each side it'll loop into the little latches here and then at the bottom you can pull that hook down 
Oh, okay. Yes, and there in there's also two more towards. Oh, okay. I can uh stabilize something. Exactly. You can hold something down and stabilize it just by latching it in, and then you can pop it back up when you're all finished. Oh, okay. Yes. Cool. And this one. Oh, okay, I can put the plastic bag here. Yes, you can put whatever you want. Oh. You can hang things from here, or you can install. You can use it for a cargo net. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cargo net. Okay. So what's this? That's nothing. It's just a, oh. a, a pocket for some of the electrical wiring that are in, in oh. the trunk area. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, of course. And then here, this button up here is how you close your trunk. Oh, okay. This one here will close your trunk and also lock all of the doors. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if the last thing you're doing at the end of the day is getting things from your trunk and going home, uh -huh. you can push the lock, your trunk will close and all of your doors will lock. Oh, I don't need to lock that up yet. Oh, what's this for? It has lubricant for oh, your lock. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nothing. No, Special. it'll wear over time, but it's just okay. there to yeah. make sure it's nice. To make sure it's nice. Yeah. So, go ahead. This one? Uh-huh. Cool. Then when I arm is it here. Uh-huh. Just hold it there for about three seconds. There you go. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's a sensor inside. Uh-huh. It's static. Oh. So it's static here and also the the handles on your doors are also static. Oh. That's how the doors are able to unlock when you put your hand inside of the handle. Got you. Yeah. Cool. And then So for the top, mm -hmm. uh why is it designed like a, why the top is designed like this way? Well, you can move it. Oh, so if you want to pivot, you can. So there are little latches on here. It's really weird to see, but here. So yeah, you'll be able oh. to move these if you want to. You can pivot it that way. There's another ah. knob over there. And there's another one over here that can come this way. Oh, they can go to that way and yes. this way as well. Uh -huh. It depends on what's your usage. Exactly. Oh, yes. Okay, got you, got you. But if you ever want to get something like a crossbars installed, they can be additional. They're oh. shorter because it doesn't go the entire width of the car. Okay. But it's something that you can definitely add on to. Okay. So um, I saw this that has the additional, this molding. Yeah. So this is, this is specific to the trim that you have. Okay. And the light here. You see, there's a light there. Uh huh. That is also additional to the trim that you have. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so there's no additional functions, just for decorations. Yeah. Okay. Or that, or honestly, if someone opens their door, like if you're in a parking lot, it oh, won't, they, they, they uh, won't dent your door. Uh, It'll uh, hit this first. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's that's all. Mm. Um, I think that's it for the outside. Uh, I can show you what's inside. So this uh, uh, mirror is not uh, uh, auto. When you shut down, it's not automatically. No. Okay. It will not fold in. Uh, no. It not fold. Okay. Nice. Cool. Yeah, I don't think this one. Yeah, you can push it. Uh, push and fold it, it, but uh, that's it. Yeah. And then for the, this wheel, is a is a regular wheel. Yeah, I think there are the uh, alloy wheels oh, for no, the uh, higher model. I think you might have a limited. Is that correct? Is that? A limited XT, yes, yes yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's what those are. Okay. I like this one. Logo yeah, here. Really nice. I like how it matches. <laughs> yeah. There. There and under the color and the everything. Everything matches yeah. really nicely. Yeah. It's really nice. I have an older Outback. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then let's see here. You have, of course, your locks are here. Yeah. To adjust your mirrors is like a joystick. You just turn it to the left, toggle to the right, and toggle. Oh, this is a adjusted mirror. And yeah. Then, okay. Yep. Exactly. This is a to uh, left is a to make it uh inside and outside. Is that the way? Mm -hmm. So. Uh, it, but uh, how you can select it is left or right? Well, if you're here, you turn it to the left, and then when you're you see. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you like just, this? oh okay. It's like a joystick. You kind of oh. toggle it. And then when you're done, you can turn it to the right okay. and do the same thing. And then okay. the middle is just locked. So even if you move it, it won't oh, do anything. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. And uh, there's nothing. It's just a uh, auto, you know, for the yeah. windows. All of your windows are automatic. And uh -huh. this is a window lock. Um, here, you'll be able to program your seats. Uh -huh. If you press the set button, hold it, and then also hold one of these other two seat functions, you'll be able to save your seat position and your mirrors. Okay, see yeah. the position and the mirror. Okay, yes. so I need to uh, push both yes. together. Exactly, and you'll hold it, you'll hear a beep, and your lights will flicker, and that's how you know it is programmed. But uh, very interesting. When I hold it, 
and uh, how can I have the another hand to adjust it, the the mirror and then oh, so you adjust your seat first and your mirror first before you hold these two. Oh, so and get then, everything where you want it to be and then do that. Oh, okay, they they, they know that is the set. The settings is uh this. Okay, gotcha. Yes. Okay. Cool. Another thing that makes your um, particular vehicle different is that you have this sensor here which scans facial recognition. It is a driver monitoring system. Oh, okay. So it'll help in case you're driving and you're getting drowsy. It will detect if your eyes are getting lower and give you a notification to wake up and focus. Uh -huh. um, it can also scan your face and detect if you are driver A or driver B. And Take adjust, a warning. Yeah, and adjust your seat and your mirrors too. So oh. you have two different uh, settings settings for your seats, essentially. You have a redundancy, so to speak, here on the door. Uh -huh. But you can still use that too. Oh, okay. Got you. Got you. Yeah. Um, let's see. Here, this opens your rear gate for you. So the trunk that we just opened with the hand gesture, you can just push it for whole, about a second. Oh, okay. It'll open. Uh -huh. And then to close it, same thing. You press and hold it for about one second. And oh, open. okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, this here is going to brighten or dim your displays here on the dashboard and also on the center information display. Uh huh. So what's that? What does that mean? Oh, this is a light. Yes. Oh, okay. It'll adjust the brightness. For oh, you. brightness. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this here again. That if it's off, you won't be able to use the hand gesturing. Oh, okay. But it is also tied to um, memory. So oh, oh, uh, let's just say okay. if your trunk opens too high. You can program it to open uh, lower for you so that it is easier for you to maybe reach buttons if you need it to. Or if you park your car in a garage and there is a height clearance, yeah, you can set it so that your trunk does not open all the way. Oh, how can I set it? Is it from that programming or? No, nope, it's in the back actually. So as long as this is on, uh -huh. here, we okay. can come back. And whenever you want it to stop, you can manually adjust it. Let's just say you want it to be here. Uh huh. Once it is here, you just press and hold. And now, next time we open your trunk, it will stop here. It will not go. Oh, all the way got you, got you. Yeah. Hey, that's smart. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And you can do it lower, you can do it wherever you want it to open to. That way it doesn't hit anything and that way someone can reach then it. Then how we use this one manually? Yep. To open. To adjust it. Yeah. And then I, I click this one. Just hold it and you'll hear it beeping. Yeah. Then they remember it. Yes, exactly. And then you can close it. Then I can close it. Uh-huh. Then, okay, cool. And next time you open, it'll stop there. Try again. <laughs> Huh? Oh, so don't touch it. Just hold your arm oh. near it. Yeah. Oh, don't if touch you're it. If it, it won't work. Because remember, it's static. Oh, so it work. Yeah. gotcha. Oh, yeah, the, the, the position is right. Yes. Cool. And to reset it, if you want it to open all the way again, you can just manually push it all the way up. Yeah, gotcha. Thank you. Yeah, That's very welcome. useful. Yes. Because it otherwise it's jump, pump it up. up. <laughs> and my garage. <laughs> Let's see. So, over here for your seats. This is for the bottom part of your seat. Of course, you can push down and it'll lower this portion. Uh -huh. Push up and it'll, you know, raise that side. This is for the back. Oh. And this is lumbar support. So, if you notice, that part is moving. Oh, okay. Yeah. Lumber. Okay, cool. Um, your trip reset is back here. Oh, okay. That is to set the mileage. Okay. Yes. Um, and then you have a telescopic uh, steering wheel. So if you pull this down, you'll be able to pull it out, up, and down. Oh, okay. Yes. And then you can just put it back up. Okay, cool. To lock it in place. And this is adjust the, the fence. Uh, the, the vent. The yeah, vent. The uh, flow okay, yeah, yes, uh, exactly. Cool. Cool. Um, I think that may be it on this side. Uh huh. If you want to, we can hop in. We can start up the car, and I can show you how yeah, certain yeah. things work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. So how can I open that the 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 front? If I want to change my uh the window shield washer, you know. Yes. Your hood. 
is here. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. Cool. Yes. Underneath that one. Okay. Uh -huh. Gotcha. Cool. So, if you want to, you can get in the car. Uh huh. See if there's anything else. Uh. There's nothing else over here. We have eyesight monitors there. They look like cameras. Wow, two cameras over there. Yeah. <laughs> two cameras over there. Yes. Yeah. So, if you have an easy pass, just yeah. try to keep it away from this entire center area so it doesn't obstruct the view of the cameras. Oh, so the easy pass is inside, in between or on the on the side is fine? On the side would be better. Oh, on the side? Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, any of the sides or any of the corners would work too. Oh, corner. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Then I can start my car and we can see inside? Yes. Okay, yeah. cool. Adjust your seat and get comfortable if you want. Uh, yeah, I can. I can do that lower. Because the Nico picked me up from the CarMax, I already adjust uh -huh. my seat. <laughs> but for the window, let me try. Oh, yep. Okay. Right. Nice. And this one, I have to manually adjust it, right? Yes. Oh, there has so many buttons. Oh. That's in case you want to program your garage. Oh, okay. Yes. And I, I will turn. So I have to um, press the brake, then turn it on. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. Cool. And I did adjust your steering wheel. So if you notice it is closer or something, it is because I messed with it earlier. Oh, so yeah, that's fine for sure? me. Yeah. Okay. All right. So here, let me get this out so I don't leave smudges on your screen. Uh huh. So if we start from the home screen uh -huh. here, I'll start here uh -huh. and we'll just work our way around. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So your map is a simple TomTom. -tom. It is just the original GPS system that uh -huh. came out, you know, the ones that you used to have to plug in and sit on your dash. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's like that. Okay. Um, but if you do not want to use it, if you prefer to use uh, Waze, Google Maps, Apple Maps, or anything of uh -huh. the sort, you can plug your phone in to one of the USB ports here. Okay. And it will activate, since you have an iPhone, uh -huh. uh, Apple CarPlay. Oh, okay. Yes. So right now, you can't do anything because nothing is connected. Okay. But once it is, this will turn green and it will take up a spot somewhere down here. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. So and I just use a cable to connect here and then they, I need to download the, the, the carp, uh, the app carp, the app or not? The app is already there. So all you have to do, and oh, it's already okay. embedded on your phone too. Uh -huh. So all you'll have to do is plug it in and it'll come right up. It will mirror a lot of the things that are already on your phone. Okay. Yes. Um, let's see. Your radio here has AM, FM, and you receive Sirius XM satellite radio free for four months. Okay. Um, you have 18 different presets. Uh-huh. So if you listen to any of these radios, FM, AM, or Sirius XM, you can always just press and hold one of the boxes okay. to program that station and okay. save it. Okay. Yeah. Um, if you and your husband or a friend are in the car and you're listening to music on your phone or on the radio uh -huh. and let's just say you can't really hear each other very well uh -huh. you can hit this little abacus thing balance fader and you can throw this anywhere oh, okay so it isn't your typical fader where it's just rear to front oh, okay you can throw it anywhere you want oh, okay and to reset it back to surround sound you select reset oh, okay cool yeah. um, go back home Oh, also, while you're inside of your radio, once you have these programmed, or even if you're listening to music on your phone, uh -huh. you can use the arrows on your steering wheel, uh, the top part of your steering wheel. There are arrows left and right. Oh, this one? So that's oh, this one? Yeah. Oh. So you can use that to toggle through your presets. Next, pick putting on your temporary tab. Oh, okay. But yes, it'll change between your presets once oh, you have them gotcha. saved. Okay. Yeah. Or if you're listening to music on your phone, Temporary tag is on. Okay. That is your temporary registration. Okay. Okay. Cool. Thank okay, you. Thank you. you very much.
Can we put that in your glove compartment? Oh, yeah, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, um, and yes, if you're listening to music on your phone, uh -huh. you can still do the same features or same buttons on your steering wheel to change your songs to go through your playlist. Okay. Yeah. Um, if you want to change from FM to AM or AM to Sirius XM or that to Bluetooth uh -huh. while you're driving and you do not want to look at the screen, uh -huh. you can push the source button on your steering wheel and it'll change it for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the uh, the Bluetooth is also over, over here, right? Okay. Yes. Got you. Got you. Exactly. And it also has an iPhone, I, iPad. Yes. Okay. Cool. Exactly. Um, if we go home. Okay, so your radio does not have an off button. So let's just say you just want to listen to your navigation, uh -huh. no music. The only way to I can I can suggest to turn off your radio would be to go to your media uh -huh. and select something that is not in use. Oh, okay. Because again, it will not turn off. Okay. If, if you push this here, it will just mute. Oh, okay. But it will not turn off the, the radio. Oh, okay. Um, if you want, we can pair your phone, but we can do that after you're done, so that okay. way you can finish the video. Yeah. Um, in your application, another good feature that you'll find is Travel Link. Oh. So it comes in handy if you're traveling in an unfamiliar area, uh -huh. and you need to find a gas station or see what gas prices are like. Uh -huh. um, you can see nearby stations here. Okay. You can check sports statistics, stops, weather, and weather alerts. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. So just as a heads up, when we get like a storm, uh -huh. you will get a lot of weather uh, alerts. Alert. <laughs> so when it comes up, just instead of hitting the X, go into the settings uh -huh. and change the type of alerts that you would like to get. Uh -huh. That way it doesn't keep coming up because it will every few yeah. minutes. Yeah. Um, if you want to check the maintenance of your car, uh -huh. uh, when your next oil change might be, uh -huh. you can go into car info, go to maintenance, and you can see exactly when your next appointment should be. Okay. Yeah, and you can change it too. So if you do not want to wait, you know, the full 6,000 miles, yeah. you can hit the gear here and change it. Okay. And then update. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Um, advanced package here shows you all of the safety features that are currently active when they're lit up in green uh -huh. and where the sensors are located for those safety features are around the car. Okay. Yeah. Um, if you're not sure what something is, even after we, you know, talk, you can go into info uh -huh. and you'll get a little glossary oh, okay. of all of the descriptions for the safety features. Okay, gotcha. So, for instance, this here is pre-collision braking. It's tied to these eyesight monitors. Uh -huh. This is lane departure, which is also tied to the eyesight monitors. Okay. So, this one will... Um, automatically break for you if someone or something uh -huh. jumps in front of your car. Oh, okay. So if you're driving and someone cuts you off and uh -huh. brakes really hard, your uh -huh. car is also going to brake to reduce the rear end collision. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. And the lane departure works uh, when you do not have your turn signal on uh -huh. and you're going over the line, you'll get a warning buzzer. Okay. Yeah. Um, this here is your blind spot detection. This is rear automatic braking, so it is essentially just like your pre-collision braking, but in reverse. If you're okay. going backwards and getting too close to something. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this here is your automatic high beams. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, Automatically. Yeah. So uh, from here, I said you know, it's auto. Is that fine or? That's for your headlights. So if you want, you can leave that. But to turn on your high beams, your automatic high beams, uh -huh. push the entire stick away from you. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's and the high, high, high beam. Yeah. Okay. But it will not, like right now, your high beams are not on uh -huh. because there's enough light. Yeah, yeah. But okay. When there isn't enough light, they will cut on automatically. Okay. And they will also disengage if it detects headlights or brake lights. Oh, on okay. Vehicle. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. There's a very, very long list of settings for you, and there's also a shortcut for those settings too, so I'll show you both. Okay. The exhaustive list is here. You have all the general information, uh -huh. things that you will use, and things that you will probably never use, uh -huh. such as, I don't know, birthday list or anniversary list. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> but a lot of the random things are here that you'll find. 
And then also you'll find sound settings in case when you do connect your phone. Okay. Let's just say it's too loud when you get a phone okay. call, you can adjust it here. You can change navigation settings if you ever want to adjust anything there. Your phone, radio, and then finally your car settings is where most of your safety features are housed. Uh -huh. So if you go into your eyesight monitor, you'll see all of the safety features that are tied to eyesight. Okay. Yeah. Um, the eyesight assist monitor is essentially a little light that will display green, yellow, or red, depending on the proximity of an object to your car. Oh, okay. And you'll see that up ahead in front of you. Yeah. Um, again, settings for your reverse automatic braking. And then this here, whenever you want to program it, you go into your driver monitoring system. Uh-huh. Register yourself as a user. Okay. You'll type in your name here. Uh-huh. It'll ask you first, is your seat in the position oh. you want it to be in? Uh. Are your mirrors in the position you want them to be in? If so, you hit set and it'll have you look directly straight. You can move around a little bit just uh. so it gets a better, you know, three dimensional view of your face. Yeah. Um, and then it'll save it for you. Okay. So when you get in the car with your mask off, it'll identify you as you uh -huh. and set your seat and your mirror. Okay. And then your husband can also do one as well. Uh-huh. And so when you get out the car, he gets in, it'll do the same for him. Okay. Yeah. Um, the keyless entry that I showed you outside, yeah. the hand gesture, if you want to change it to unlock all of your doors, driver door unlock. Right now, driver door only. Okay. Yeah. But you can always change it to Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, how can I adjust the, the, this uh, is, uh, air conditioner? It's too hot now. Yeah, it is really hot here. Uh, okay. okay yeah and if you want you can also touch this box here and bring it down oh, okay yeah yeah okay cool yeah it gets really hot <laughs> <laughs> i'm happy your seat isn't warm now okay uh your defogger will only run for 15 minutes at a time what's um, that defogger means uh, so this here for instance right this is your oh um, window uh, the, the shield yeah, uh. exactly so these here okay so this one will only run for 15 minutes this is your rear defogger okay and it's also your heated mirrors for your side view oh oh th this mirror is heated uh-huh okay yes and it'll only stay on for 15 minutes unless you change it okay so this one is just a uh, oh yes <laughs> this is a heated from the front yeah uh, if i turn it off the it goes to auto, but you can always just pull it back down. Oh. Yeah. And if you want, again, you can change it to continuous. Let's just say it's like a blizzard outside. You oh. kind of want it to be on all the time. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, your doors are going to lock once you get up to about uh, probably, I think, 15 miles per hour. Oh, okay. But if you want your doors to lock as soon as you shift out of park, uh -huh. you can change it here. On, okay. Under auto door lock unlock. Okay. Yes, so if you ever want to modify any of the locking systems, yeah. go here. Um, but, alas, the shortcut for that very long list is uh, here, the oh. car. It's broken up into three different categories. Uh -huh. Your traction control, X mode is in case you want to take your car on the beach, oh. um, or if you want to go off-road, or okay. if there's a lot of snow and you just really want to power through it. Uh -huh. um, if you think of it as a manual transmission, it's in first gear to okay. give extra traction to individual tires. Okay. Um, auto vehicle hold will come in handy if you are stuck in a traffic jam uh -huh. and you no longer want to keep your foot on a brake. Uh -huh. You can activate it, move your foot from the brake while your car is in drive and your car will hold its place until uh you accelerate. Oh, this is like a cruise. It's like cruise control in reverse. Oh, okay. Yeah, because oh. it's for when you're still, but when you accelerate, it stops, it disengages. Oh, okay, got you. This is like uh, have the traffic, you can't move, you just uh, keep it still. Then yes. I use this one. Yes. Oh, okay, got yes, you. Exactly. Okay. And if you need to kind of move up just a little bit, uh -huh. as long as you do not hit the gas, it uh -huh. will re-engage as soon as you hit the brake again. Oh, okay. So let's just say you're using the auto vehicle hold nothing is moving and then something moves just a little bit and you just want to move some okay you can re-engage your brake 
let off just a little bit as you typically would uh -huh. break again and it'll re-engage to your auto vehicle hold for you okay gotcha yeah. yep so this car has the front camera uh no it doesn't have the front camera it just has these monitors here oh when i buy this car this has, this has a front camera no if so it will be a button here that will say view okay i can check yeah yeah okay yeah because usually whenever there is a front camera there's a button and it says view and you push it and you can see exactly oh there. okay yeah but we can check don't worry about oh, okay it. yeah um your steering responsive headlights um wherever your steering wheel goes your headlights will follow uh-huh auto start stop the shortcut is just here okay yeah okay Driving assistance is where you'll find those safety features that we talked okay, about. Okay, yeah. Yeah, shortcut for that. Uh -huh. If you want to not use the US system and switch to the metric system, you can oh, do that here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, warning volume in case it's too low or too high, you can modify it here as well. Yeah. Yes. So for uh, for the for this one, uh, the uh, the winter time and I need to defreeze, I use these two buttons. Yes. And then for this one, this is to adjust the temperature of the car. Yes. Uh, I don't, you know, for my car, I just check is the cooling or heating. Uh -huh. But for this one, I just use the temperature to adjust it. Yes. But how can I know is the hot air or cold air? Well, if the AC is on, which uh -huh. right now it is not on, uh -huh. then it will most likely be hot air. Oh, okay. But it's circulated from the car. Yes. Oh, okay. And you can tell if it's circulating here. This entire box is its own function. Oh, okay. So you can touch it and you can select where the air is going to flow. Okay. And you can also select if you want it to circulate or not circulate. Okay. Yes. And you'll see exactly what's happening here once you set it. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Then I can adjust it this fan, this mm -hmm. one. This one, what's, this is, uh, what that mean? This means that uh, there's no temperature control, it's the, just the room temperature. Yes, it's just off. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this one is for the yes. passenger side. Exactly. Uh, I know that this is a heated, uh, seat for the front and the, the rear mm -hmm. how can i adjust it go ahead and touch the box again this one yes and then here oh heater uh-huh so that is high the next bar is medium and then one bar is low oh okay oh you're from here mm -hmm. got you and then this is the the passengers yes and for the bike how can i adjust it there well whatever you have for yourself is what will be in the back there is no separate climate control so it isn't dual climate control oh it's just separate for the two front seats and whatever you have the preset for here uh, but, uh, but the front the front no matter there is a person or no person they will heat it yes <laughs> okay yeah <laughs> and also your rear seats have heated seats too yes yes so the the temperature from there is the same temperature as mine no they can adjust it themselves there's a button in the back here and my finger is on it i don't know i can probably move your your camera so that you can see Okay, let's see. So... Oh, got you. They yeah. will do that by themselves. Yes. Manually. Exactly. Oh, gotcha. And then there's also two USB ports here as well. Okay. So they can charge their devices if they need to. Oh, okay. Got you. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That helps. <laughs> it does. Uh, and this one also needs to be heated up, right? Yes. Your steering wheel is right here. So you pull it toward you and it'll cut on. This one? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So when it's on, the light will turn yellow. And you just leave it for a moment and it'll start to warm up slowly. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Yep. And another way that you can control your climate here, you can use the hard buttons as well. Oh, up and down. Uh-huh. And you can also uh, use the arrows here. You can drag it. Or another way, again, because you'll be driving, uh -huh. and you may not want to look at the screen. You can use voice command to control your temperature. Oh, wait, wait. So one? the button next to source. This uh -huh. one. You can push it and say set temperature to 68 degrees. Please say a command. Set temperature to 60 degree. Another degree. Okay. Setting temperature to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, gotcha. And same for your fan speed. You can say set fan speed to four and it'll increase. Please say a command. Set fan speed to four. Setting fan speed to four. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. 
Or you can say increase, decrease fan speed. If you say oh. increase fan speed, it'll go up just one. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, okay, got you. So this is all of the functions here. Yes. And then for the for all of this button here, can you show me? Yes, of course. Mm. So uh, those arrows that your fingers are on now will change what you see here. So pull one of the arrows. You will see what music you're listening to. Oh. You can see directions. Your, okay. Um, tire pressure. Okay. That one there tells you how much gas you're saving with auto start stop. Okay. That's how many miles you have until empty. Okay. And what your average miles per gallon is, but that will change. You okay. will get way more than 170 miles. Okay. Um, and your average miles per gallon because it hasn't been driven much. So right yeah. now it's at 4.3. So yeah. It'll change over time. Okay. Yeah. So this one is also the same thing. Yeah, it okay. just toggles. And then the I is just there. It usually in other vehicles that are lower model is a info button. Um, to set different settings, but you don't have that here. So oh, nothing. Right. Okay. Yeah. And then this one, I know mm -hmm. this is too heated. Oh, okay, got you. And then if I don't need it, then I turn it off. Yes. Okay, got you. And then this is to have the phone. Yeah. I need to connect it with the Bluetooth. Yes. And then I can pick up my phone and then hang off. Okay. Huh? Okay. Oh, yeah. Not now. And then this source is. Uh, Oh, this is the music, and then yes. this is to turn different uh, stations. stations, and yes. this volume up and down for the uh, yes. audio. Yes. Uh, and then for for this way, what? So the, that is for your cruise control. Oh. And lane centering. So your cruise control is adaptive, which means that your throttle will automatically adjust to keep you however many car spaces away from the lead vehicle as okay. you wish. So if you put it on, look here. Okay. It looks like that. Each of those white bars there represents the length of one car. Oh. So right now it's set to keep you four car spaces away uh -huh. from the car in front of you. And you can adjust it using these two arrows here. Okay. Reduce. Okay. Got yes, you. Exactly. Oh, and then this one. That's lane centering. So if you push it, it'll say ready. And what it will do is if you're driving on the highway and you're starting to go to the left or you're starting to go to the right, um, it'll straighten your car out for you so that you remain in the center of the lane. Okay, cool. Yeah. And this one is a... Uh... That's when you want to adjust the speed for your cruise control. So, oh, yeah. up and down. Okay, exactly. gotcha. Yeah. And for this one? That's paddle shifter. So you can also drive your vehicle in manual and up gear, up shift using the right paddle and down shift using the left paddle. Oh, what's that a shift mean? So, if you were to drive this car, say a manual, you'll have to move the stick all the way back to drive uh -huh. and then over to the left to end. Uh -huh. And it'll put you into first gear. Oh. And while you're driving, you can increase to second gear using this paddle here. Okay. And downshift using the left one. Oh, gotcha. Yep. Gotcha. And for this one, it's a window. Sh it's a, it's a, uh, in the back, there also has one. Yes. So the tip of this one here. If you turn it forward just one time, you see the line and how it meshes with this one? Uh -huh. That's slow. If you go up one more, it's continuous. Okay. And if you go back to the zero or to the circle, uh -huh. it is off. Uh -huh. And if you pull it back, it will wash your rear windshield. Oh, rear. And then the front uh, is it this way. Is it this one? The front is actually going to be just pulling it down one time. Oh, okay twice for it to go faster Tur and then that's and it three times to go oh faster. that is three speed yeah and then you have intermittent speed which is this one here so if you are say in the first preset but you want it to not go so slow but not quite as fast as second preset uh-huh you can turn this knob down and it'll go faster oh, okay but it's still in the first preset it oh. just adjusts a little bit oh that's a little bit. okay yeah. gotcha and then turn turn it off you do that okay cool and one wipe you just push it up okay gotcha to wash your front windshield you pull your windshield uh, stick back uh. <laughs> <laughs> i feel like i went over the car uh -huh. <laughs> yeah cool it's powerful yes and let's see i think that's probably it for those things but here you can also set up a driver profile okay so it'll save some of your presets like uh, your music, dynamics, 
your um, temperature, uh, things like that. Okay, cool. Yeah. So for this one, if I don't have the front camera, for the uh, the real camera, when the, when I back, mm -hmm. and then the camera will be here, they will tell you. Yes. Okay, got you. Yes. And the way I drive on the uh, highway, if I pass the lane, then there have a beep, beep sound. Yeah. You'll see an orange light here if someone is in your blind spot oh, okay. over here, and the same if someone is in your blind spot. Oh, okay, your got you, got yeah. you. Thank you very much. Of course. And for this one. Yeah. So here I'm going to push this over. That way your lights come on when your door is open. And same back here. I did the same. Um, this is going to control your moonroof or your sunroof rather. Oh, nice. Yeah. So to tilt it, you can just push this arrow right here. Okay. Uh huh. And then to close the tilt, you push it forward. Oh, okay. And to slide the entire thing back. You push it this direction. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh-huh. And to tilt it, you this arrow? Yeah, push it up. Oh up. Yeah. Oh up means that. Uh -huh. And then down, down, down. Well to close it, push it this way. It is not very intuitive. Oh, okay, yeah. got you, got you. <laughs> this here is your roadside assistance in case you need a gas, get a flat tire, or anything like that. And, and uh, who will receive the Subaru customer service? Yes. Okay. And this is for 911 in case of an emergency. Oh, caught you. Mm -hmm. And if you accidentally hit these, just let them know you are okay because uh, otherwise they'll send out help. Uh, okay. So this one is that uh, when I uh, open the door, the light will be automatically on. Yeah. See? And you have LED lights, so it's oh, oh. to see in daylight, oh, okay. but they're also really bright. And then, okay, this off, this on. Okay, uh -huh. got you. And then you have a space for your sunglasses. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. So if I put this back, uh, if I put this sunroof back uh, with this drive, uh -huh. oh, no, no, no. <sighs> this one. Uh-huh. This is how manually do, do yes. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for which button. <laughs> cool. Yep. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Mm. Um, I think